Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mall channel, On Point Reviews all day every day. And we're back today with a fragrance that I know for sure has been asked from me many, many, many times in the past. It's just that, you know, I haven't been able to, uh, you know, access or get either the bottle or the decant but thankfully a few weeks ago a friend of the channel uh jose we were doing a few trades and he said have you tried this one have you tried clive christian rock rose and i was like no bro but i really want to so he was like okay i'm going to send you some so i really want to thank my friend jose for this one so today we are going to review i have been using this as you can see clive christian rock rose 550 dollars for 50 ml in typical clive christian style we are going to debunk this one we are going to talk about it what's up with the hype i can't say okay that this is a fragrance that you know sucks okay so there's a lot of people that are saying it sucks there's a lot of people even comparing it to macy's unbelievable I can't say that no not after I've been wearing this for a minute but I will give you guys the positive things that you're gonna get from this fragrance Clive Christian Rock Rose so before we continue let's hit the music <laughs> Okay, we're back guys. Clive Christian Rock Rose. Let's go spray this right now. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about Rock Rose right now. Let's talk about the opening first because that's the first sensation that you're going to get. The opening notes of Clive Christian Rock Rose is basically bergamot, sparkling dazzling bergamot and then you have pepper as well as neroli and to put this simply this is a part that you know it feels like fresh citruses uh you know it's almost like cutting through a a fresh lime with some pepper a little bit of spice the neroli it's up there it's up there but it's, it's not as nice as i would say the bergamot and pepper combo that comes out uh, this part here, I think, is the one that sort of makes it or breaks it for a lot of people, okay? Because, you know, usually when we think of a $500 fragrance, most of us, you know, we get kind of picky and we get, you know, we, get, we, we think of something really ethereal, something really crazy or out of this world. And then we spray this and then we don't get that, okay? We don't get the out of this world opening. Actually, this is something, you know, if you think about it, bergamot, pepper, neroli, I mean, this opening is very familiar. Yeah, it's very familiar to many, many scents. And that's why uh, this rock rose scent has its own like group of haters. You know, there's people that really are pissed at this one right here. But I can understand why, because you are not going to get something crazy on the opening, okay? As a positive person, not a negative person, for me, the thing that I appreciate is the quality of the ingredients. Like I said, you know, the bergamot here, you can tell is very high quality, as well as the pepper and the roly on the opening. Now, this opening, though, does not last very long. That I can say. And we're talking about four minutes, three minutes. Immediately, there's going to be a curve within Clive Christian Rock Rose. And that's kind of like the difference when the mid notes kind of shines with Clive Christian Rock Rose because in comes lavender. So lavender is a really nice note we all love. Very man fresh, you know, you say whatever you want. It's awesome. And then you have a really prominent clary sage okay sage comes out changes the game mixes it with lavender and it's totally totally different you also have violet as well uh, beautiful violet as well as of course the rock rose the labdanum you know the slightly resinous labdanum that is in here so to me once those come in this kind of changes now you know instead of thinking oh this is kind of predictable no it's kind of unpredictable you know it becomes uh sort of like a refined sort of like an aromatic type of fragrance and the big deal with rock rose for me once i went through the mid notes is that oh this is hella versatile this is something that i can see being used in many different 
you know occasions or just even on day to day and also in a sense it can be a signature scent and when we think about signature scents we don't really think about okay something that's out of this world or something that's totally different you know we think about signature scents as something that maybe is part predictable part unpredictable you know at least that's my definition of that i don't have a signature scent so don't don't ask me but i can see that clive christian rock rose can become a signature scent this thing can become a signature scent because it does have those qualities that we already know we're familiar with citrusy opening peppery opening neroli and then suddenly there's this clary sage that's a big different shader right there added to some really nice lavender some really nice violet and then of course slightly resinous labdanum right there I think to me this is still it's like semi fresh it's like aromatic and fresh which I think that falls in line with a lot of men who are looking for uh, perfumes that suit them and let's not forget here I mean Clive Christian at least is I mean unabashed in the way that they say that hey you know this is nobility perfume okay the, the reason why they price it very highly is because it, they're putting themselves on sort of that, that Ferrari range so to a lot of people that are like thinking oh you know this is like a Macy's perfume well maybe you, you're not for the Ferrari range you know what I'm saying like this is in my opinion this is made as something that the gents that can afford 550 okay I'm not even sure that's me but it, it it is for those guys you know what i mean when you try this when you buy a clive christian there's almost that same like you know ferrari high-end mentality you know you're buying like a really high-end perfume that it's known for and you get exactly sort of a you know grabber nobility perfume that's a little bit of different you know there's there's something different about it and then of course on the base notes you will get here cacao cacao was a shocker here I thought that the cacao was uh, truly different here. Once that came in, it was like, oh, there's a third layer, a third like different shader, or a second or third different shader, and that is the cacao. And it's also matched with lovely vetiver, you know, lovely vetiver, gentlemanly vetiver, with some amber and patchouli on the dry down, but mostly the cacao, in my opinion, cacao, amber, vetiver, I mean, those ones really rain on the almost dry down to dry down phase how does it feel wearing this thing you know what it feels like you're wearing a grabber a gentlemanly grabber with yeah sudden nuances of clary sage and cacao you know stuff like that like really huge curve balls that happen as you're wearing this and you know i think that this is one of those where I mean, if you ask me, like, when would I wear this? I mean, I would only wear this if I felt like today's nobility day. You know, if I'm I'm wearing a really dope outfit, I'm really, like, then styled up, good to go. That's the only time I feel like I can wear this one, you know? Like, I really can't consider this as a grabber, as in, you know, t-shirt and jeans. I'm going to wear this right now. It just doesn't match, you know, guys? Because, it, like I said, it, it does have that okay sort of like a regular perfume notes but then you know it's it's upgraded to a certain level to that like i said that nobility feel and so i mean i would only wear this if i actually was super dressed up styled up you know somewhere important to go uh that's the only time i feel i can wear this because as you guys know i try perfumes a lot and i try them in different times or occasions in my day sometimes i might just be going out to grab some takeout and i might spray some perfume just to feel it i'm like oh this doesn't work for me you know i when i wore this one right here i believe i was headed to an errand you know and i was just like oh you know i smelled this and i was like oh there's this everyday feeling about clive christian rock rose but then as it evolved i was like oh this doesn't match this little errand that i was doing it didn't match the the occasion right but then i guess if i went to hollywood or i went to beverly hills and hung out with some friends i mean this would really matter because it does give off that feel because of those curveballs those different notes that come in there very unexpected i think that uh is for those things it's not a day-to-day -day in my opinion although like i said it can be a signature scent that a man can use because you know of course we use signature scents in special occasions as well i think that for me this one is not for collectors okay this is not for collectors when i talk about collectors i'm talking about guys that think about um 
I don't know, Bodicias or think about, I mean, I think about my friend Eli, you know, he collects a lot of these really, you know, upscale, really wanted, hard to get perfumes. Like, I don't think, even if this is 550, I don't think that this is for the collectors, you know, because I think that the majority consensus of people that have tried Rock Rose will say that it's not on the collector quality. It's not on those things where, oh, it's, uh, like I said, groundbreaking, crazy, and hard to obtain. It's not like um, like a Middle Eastern exclusive, you know, people where people are like, man, dude, seriously, it smells like, you know, some desert elixir, you know, with like some crazy Taif Rose. It does not, you know, to be honest, it does not. And so I think that Clive Christian Rock Rose ultimately is for usage by those who can afford it. That's my opinion, okay? It's a usage perfume. Wear it when you're styled up. Wear it when you're dressed up. Wear it when you need to feel, man, confident, awesome, beautiful, whatever you want to say. But it's not a collector it's not a collector thing like i think that even if you had the bottle beside you and you put it beside your other expensive collection bottles like i do i think that once somebody sprays on it they're gonna be like oh okay oh that was rock rose oh because it's not it's really a usage perfume that i mean i think it should be i should i think that the price shouldn't be 550 in my opinion okay it's not 550 to me maybe if it was like 300 270 that would kind of be okay but i don't think that this is 550 although i think this is a uh wearable you know usable versatile perfume aromatic uh somewhat fresh cacao few curveballs in there that a lot of guys can use but that's how i can see it i don't really put it on the collector sphere of things and as for the macy's comparison when you know guy says oh this is the same as macy's no Oh, absolutely not okay i mean you really gotta smell it and try it and wear it and you'll see i mean it does last long at the same time too i mean this aroma lasts a while this is not a strong projector it's i would say like just a nice sillage average to uh maybe slightly above average sillage and then lasts very long like most of the clive christian perfumes but it is not Macy's qualities. Excuse me. No, it's not Macy's quality. It's not. I'm not talking down to Macy's either. I'm just saying this is just a higher level. You know, it's got higher level ingredients. Really nice curveballs. It's just a grabber for those who can afford. That's really what it is in terms of that. Okay. So that's it. That's my quick review on Clive Christian Rock Rose. Again, I want to thank Jose for sending this over. I'm pretty sure he uses this as a grabber. You know what I mean? It's just, I mean, anybody, there's a lot of access to this. You guys can try this for yourselves, guys. You can go to any luxury department store. They have Clive Christian. Try it out. You'll see what I'm talking about, okay? It's a, it's a higher level grabber slash maybe signature scent for most guys type deal, okay? All right, so that's it. This is Troy D. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe on our videos, okay? We're about to reach 4K, guys. 4K! Coming up very, very soon. Probably tomorrow. We'll see. Well, take care, guys. God bless you guys. Love you. Peace.